Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to bring you uh, one of our better dry flies that we've ever used, the Turk's Tarantula. This fly here was uh, created by Guy Turk. As originator of this pattern, it won the one fly competition in Jackson Hole. I know uh, Dale Fresh was on the boat with the uh, guy as well, and that's where he told me about the fly many, many years ago. But it's been around a long time. It's one of the favorites in Jim McLennan's uh, fly fish and western trout stream. So it's a it's a very well known uh, dry fly. Let's get ready and get the materials ready to tie this fly. I'm going to be using a Daishi 1280 size six. You can tie it in various sizes, of course. Uh, the thread, I'm going to use some 6 aught tan uh, thread. We'll be using uh, some, these would be the tippets here from the golden pheasant tippets for the tail. The body, you can use Antron as in the original pattern. I'm going to be using some Kapok dubbing here, rusty orange. And uh, the tail, or the... Uh, Wing, I'm going to be using some calf tail, and then over top of that, some crystal flash accent on that, and then an overwing of some deer hair. Uh, this is nice, uh, kind of a fine deer hair. It'll spin, still big enough to spin, and it'll lie down. And then on the front, we're going to put some grizzly uh, uh, legs on the front of this. Just a great little bug. So let's get a hook in the vise here. I'll tie one of these tarantulas up, and they can be tied in lots of colors, reds, lime green, you can just black, whatever you want to do. I think this is one of the original colors, kind of rusty orange. Great attractor pattern. A lot of big fish taking the net with this one. Okay, we come in here, we'll dress our shank. I'm going to put a Heavily dress the tail here with the uh, tip, the tippets from the golden pheasant crest or neck. Put more on there if you like, whatever, whatever suits you. Okay, and then I'll put a half hitch in here. Bring my kapok dubbing. Uh, the uh, antron is a very. I'll, I showed you the. Uh, Rusty orange. How about if I grab some brighter color antron here? Let's do a bright orange just for giggles. Just to show you how this will really, really pop as far as a uh, nice attractor. Now I'm going to start about a third back on this long shank dry fly hook. Come to the rear with my dubbing and then to the forward again to give it a little more of a robust body. There's orange. Okay, I like lime green, reds, nice colorations. Just uh, that'll make that pop and look good. And uh, okay, now we need to come over here with the tail. So we're going to bring in some of the calf tail. Put some of the longer calf tail here, trim it off right close to the tail itself. Pop, bring off that under fur. I'll keep that under fur, that'll work really well for parachute posts and other smaller flies. We'll put this on here, right on top. Actually, we should put a little more on that. It's a little bit weak. We'll put a little more. Air on there, you can always add. There we go. Turn that off a bit of an angle. There. And you can mix the crystal flax right in with that craft tail if you like, or put it on the top, put a little on the bottom. I, uh, I'll just put it on the top, basically, the way the pattern is called for it. I'm using a UV crystal flash. 
UV pearl, just a little bit of that. Just can mix it stuck out really nice. Don't want to come out any further than much more than the tail. You will see that, but barely. Okay. Then we'll bring in some of our rabbit or uh, rabbit or deer hair. A little pinch, small pinch of that for the overwing. That's going to come over the top here. Line up the tips of that. And it'll come probably about halfway from the, the wing. And I'm just going to leave those butts on for a minute. Bring in the, uh, the uh, hackle here. Fold it over. And cut that in the middle. And we've got two legs that are the same. The front is going to be a little bit shorter than the back. About one third, two thirds. Measure them so they're the same. There they go. These are just kind of soft loops. Grab the one to me, pull it to me. And that one on the other side. Push it away. And they'll be sitting in an X pattern. And then now I'm just going to pull that hair back and a bit of a dam in front here, okay? That'll kind of hold everything back out of the way a little bit. Now I'm going to get some more hair. You don't want it too, too thick of hair. You want some nice uh, thin deer hair for this. And also use antelope or sheep or whatever else works real good for spinning uh, heads. Tying the butts in here, going to cut off the tips and then just give it a little pressure as I pull right around. And that'll lock that all into place once it quits rolling on you. I use my tan thread just kind of blend with that. And then I pull my hair back. Push it back a little bit out of the way to get this good tie in spot. Bring our whip finish. Give a couple of turns there to whip finish that off. And there we go. Now the fun part comes where we will trim the bottom, trim it right flat. Want them, all them guard hairs out of the way there in the bottom. And then I'll come on the top, give it a, come at a pretty good angle here. And we want to make sure we got, where's our rubber hackle here? It's stuck inside there, a little surprise. And I'll cut around there, I got it, my finger here, it's pulled out of the way. Let Tim trim that. A little couple loose ones. Take your time when you're trimming because you all spend a little time tying this fly up and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness sakes, just cut off my hackle. Pretty pretty common mistake. Now we bring these butts forward here, these long ones. Remember that hackle in the way? I like to trim leave my scissors basically at the angle that I'm looking for right there. And that should uh, follow in just fine. If there's any of these little rascals here that we can nip out. There. Got a little diver head on there, but it's flat on the bottom. You want to make sure of that. That's going to make this fly function very well. And uh, got the legs in an X. Like the Madam X style. A couple of little loose ones right here. 
Winning that uh, one fly competition in Jackson Hole is a pretty big deal. It's there's been a lot of the best slides hit hit moving waters are thrown there. You bust off, you're out. So this fly has won that and and has won a lot of fame over that. And this is out of the series I'm tying out of that book of Jim McLennan's uh, Fly Fishing Western Trout Streams. Great book, great read. If you want to learn, get some good knowledge about that, you're learning from one of the best anglers in our country, uh, Jim McLennan. He knows the Western Canada and the United States very well. So this fly has made that book. So we're just highlighting those are must-have flies in my opinion. And thank you all for, again for watching. We'll catch you again real soon.